CC Bell and this is my story. L Death Isle by CC Bell. When I was four years old, I loved singing. One day while I was singing, I felt really sick. And I threw up. My parents took me to the hospital. I got my back poked and my head measured. I had terrible headaches. But I got better and got to go home again. At home, everything was really quiet. One day, I got lost from my mom because I could not hear her talking right behind me. We went to the doctor and found out I couldn't hear well, so I got hearing aids. When I started kindergarten, everyone in class were hearing aids like me. I learned how to lip read. Lip reading is hard because people's lips sometimes look the same when they say words. I like kindergarten. After kindergarten, I had to move to a new house and a new school. I got a new hearing aid, the phonic ear. There was no class for kids with hearing aids, so I was in a regular class. My hearing aid had a microphone for the teacher to wear that let me hear her better. I could hear everything the teacher said, even when she was in another room. I could even hear her when she was in the bathroom. That's kind of gross. One day, I watched a TV movie about a girl who was deaf. She wore a phonic ear, just like me. In the movie, one kid called her Defo. It was supposed to be mean, but I found it funny. <laughs> I decided I could be a superhero, and my name would be... El Duffo! I made a friend named Martha. She didn't seem to notice my hearing aid. We had a sleepover, and when it was bedtime, I turned off my hearing aid. Martha asked, did you just turn your hearing aid off on me? I was really surprised that she knew I was deaf. She became my superhero sidekick and best friend. Martha and I had lots of fun together. A new kid moved up the block. His name was Mike. And he let us jump on his trampoline. After jumping on the trampoline, Martha and I played tag. When I was chasing Martha, I got poked in the eye by a stick. Martha freaked out when she saw me bleeding. She took me to my mom and then left. Mom took me to the doctor and I got an eye patch. I thought it was cool. But when I went to show Martha, she threw up. Martha's mom said that Martha thought it was all her fault and that she would come around eventually. One week later, I could take the eye patch off, but Martha still wouldn't talk to me. Mike and I were in the same class together at school. We got chosen to be on the stage in a presentation. While we were on stage, I heard the teacher going potty. I giggled a lot. <laughs> After the presentation, Mike asked me why I was giggling, so I told him. He thought it was cool. After that, whenever the teacher would leave the room, I would use my superpower hearing to tell the class when she was coming back. Everyone knew about my superpower and thought El Duffo was amazing. And that is my story. P.S. I even became friends with Martha Gang.